Hey campers, I'm so stoked to show you this brand new 2024 Encore RV ROG 12RK. It's all aluminum, no wood inside. Check this out. All right, so I'm stoked to walk through this brand new 2024 with you. This one's going out the door in a couple hours and I still have to wash it up. So I've got a time to do a quick walk through before it goes out. So starting right on the front, we have our 20 pound propane tank, this awesome machined propane tank holder and spare tire holder underneath. We have this showing the aluminum frame all the way through, our removable or our wheel that pops right up for us while we're towing, and a two inch ball. This does have the electric brake package on it all the way around, so you do need a brake controller and the 12 volt charge line in order to run it. Over here, you'll see that we have our four stab jacks, four stabilizer jacks made all the way around to hold it so we're supporting it and stabilizing the camper. Furnace exhaust, 30 amp power cord, solar, coaxial cable, magnetic door holder, marker lights, information about the trailer and the build dates. Up here, we've got our four corner. Um, these are 12 volt plugs. Fully walkable roof up top with the awesome roof rack here. Four cross members, all the different spots that we can hook and connect things to. We have our double doors. So boards, doors on both sides of the trailer. Windows that pop open, porch light. Off-road off tires over here with nitrogen filled. Spray port. Over here is our water. We've got our fresh water fill and our city water connection. Fresh water fill is right here. That's when our fill in our tank to go off the grid, use the water pump. This one right here is a city water connection. When we're camping at our house and we already have pressure, camping at our campground. Again, we're hooking up our garden hose or a water hose and turning on the faucet. In the back, we have the standard awnings. Two awnings come with these campers, one on the side and one on the back. Then for the back kitchen, again, you'll see no wood. I absolutely love how this kitchen looks. Their theory was wood gets wet and it rots. So if we keep the wood out, we give really good seals, we're not gonna get any rot. Makes sense. So back here we have a two burner stove, microwave, as much cabinets as they can put in here, stainless steel sink with the sprayer, water pump, water heater, or fresh water tank, telling you how the levels are over here. Over here is going to be your 12 volt reefer, so you can turn it on and off if you want to, which is a nice feature. Little spice rack up top, outside speakers, and the outside storage. Over here, a little bit more storage, and your 12 volt fridge. Porch light, barn style doors, over here on this side again you'll see a couple more of the ports at all four corners. These come with the lights if you buy you know the 12 volt lights or if you buy these survival series they'll come with a couple of the lights right with it. So they also have a website you can get all their accessories on including their shovels and their axes. Lots of cool stuff from these guys, which also includes this little part right here, which this part is an add-on table that you can purchase. Down here is your 110 outlets, outside propane connection, your porch awning. And now we're gonna go inside and check out the interior. All right, now I'm inside the unit. I just wanna show you what's in here and what we have. So right here, Walking inside the door, we have our fire extinguisher. Over on the wall, we have this nice huge net for storage. Right above that, 
little fire escape window. If it does pop open. With a shade. A nice blackout shade too. These guys, I mean, even at dark, you're not going to, or even in the middle of the nicest day, like right now, you're not going to see anything. So, cabinets and shelving up top. A little shelf right here for like a nightstand where I can throw my phone with a charging station right next to it. You have a 110 outlet and you have the 6 volt, uh, 12 volt plug. 6 volt plug, but it runs off your 12 volt battery. Reading lights right above. LED, dual stage, you can get the blue or the white. Above us is a huge 13.5 AC unit. Lights, smoke detector, three-way fan, in or out, max air fan. Over here, you've got the same style fire escape door window, or fire escape window, my apologies. Over here we have our second door, and we also have that same style mesh netting over here. Then we'll go right to the front of the camper. So right in the front we have this huge nice closet. This closet's going to access all of our extras. So this is where the power cord would go, outside shower connection, stabilizer jack handle, all your roof rack accessories, an adapter and welcome to new camp bag and brochures and manuals fuse box and breaker box up top goes in this then we go over into our this is where the TV is ready for if you do want to get a TV otherwise I've seen people do like storage or spice racks across here or shelving pieces and put three or four tiers of shelving in here all right, down here is going to be our heat and air conditioning. Over into our stereo and our disconnect switch right here. This is the actual disconnect switch for the camper. I love that it has the actual kill switch on it. Then above we have a cabinet that we can store all of our stuff in. And we do have like cabinet lights right there. Then this is our main control panel. Main lights, cabinet lights, porch lights, underglow lights. We have our USBs. Then these are our 12 volt ports from each corner where we can plug in our lights from or whatever other 12 volt accessory you'd like to use. This is the Encore ROG. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and check out my others. Thanks for watching.